So let's begin the first part of our life and score system. Over here in the sprites, I have a sprite life counter, which is just a small version of our player sprite. 16 by 32, origin is at 0, 0. Then I've brought in the sprite game over and the sprite win screens from our side scroller game. I've also created a font, font score, using my featured item font, size 14, doesn't really matter, this will be different for you. And now we need to create the scorekeeper object. So create a new object, call it obj underscore scorekeeper. It's not going to have a sprite, but we need it to be visible because it will be drawing our score and life images on screen. We're also going to make it persistent so that it retains the data throughout the levels. And we are going to add a create event which will set up our lives in score. So over in the score tab, we're going to bring in set lives, set that to three, and then we're going to set score, set that to zero, and we're going to set up our extra life system from the beginning. So let's come to control, set variable, the variable will be global dot extra underscore life. Set that to one. Click OK. And so now we need to draw the lives and score on screen. So add event, draw, draw a GUI. Come to the score tab, draw life images. I want this at an X of 20 and a Y of 440 using the life counter sprite. And then over in the Draw tab, we need to set a font. I'll be using my font score, alignment left. Set color, set it to white. Come back to the score tab and draw score. This will be at an X of 10, Y of 5. Keep the caption, OK. Hit OK. And then we're going to create a reset object so that when we win or lose the game, we will reset the game. So make a new object, call it obj underscore reset. We're going to give it the initial sprite of game over. I'm going to give it a depth of negative 10, so it appears above everything. And we'll just make this reset the room. So add event, keyboard, enter. And we'll come to the main one tab, restart room. Click OK. Let's reopen our object player laser. And we are going to make it so that when we destroy asteroids, we'll get points and possibly an extra life. So select the collision with asteroid large. And let's come over to the score tab, set score. And we're going to drag that above the destroy instance. We're going to get 50 points for destroying a large asteroid. Set that to relative. And then we need to check and see if our score has earned us an extra life. So come to control, test variable, drag that underneath the set score. We're going to test the variable score and give it a value of global dot extra underscore life times 1000 and set this to greater than or equal to. So we're going to get an extra life every 1000 points, which is far too frequent. In the original Asteroids game, you got an extra life at 10,000, but for testing purposes, we'll keep this at 1,000. Click OK. Then we're going to drag blocks underneath the test. We're going to come over to Score, Set Lives. We will get one extra life relative. And then we need to increment our extra life variable. So Control, Set Variable, Global dot extra underscore life value of 1, relative. Click OK. So just like in our side-scroller game, the extra life will increment so that after we gain a, an extra life at a score of 1,000, it'll add 1. So the extra life will be worth a value of 2. 2 times 1,000 will be 2,000, and so on. So let's do the similar thing in the asteroid small. Let's select all of this copy, come to asteroid small, and right above the destroy instance, paste it back in. 
Smaller ones will be worth more, so I'm going to change the score to 100. And now we need to see if there are no more asteroids in the room. Since the asteroid larges have to become asteroid smalls before we can clear the room of asteroids, we're going to make the asteroid small determine whether or not the room is empty. But it's only going to be the trigger. We're actually going to use the scorekeeper to set up the event and actions that end the game. So what we're going to do here in our asteroid small, come over to our main 2 tab and select set alarm. I'm going to drag that above setting our score and I'm going to select the object set that to object scorekeeper and I'm going to give this alarm five steps. So this is setting the alarm zero of the object scorekeeper which we don't have yet so we need to set that up. So close this and close the object laser and then open our object scorekeeper. So let's add event, alarm, alarm zero. And so every time we destroy a small asteroid, it's going to check and see if all asteroids are gone. But it needs to check for both small and large asteroids because it's possible that one large asteroid will be blown up. We can destroy all the small asteroids, but there will still be large asteroids floating around. So let's come over to control. And in our questions, we're going to select our test instance count. Drag that over. And the first object we're going to test for is the asteroid small and see if it is equal to zero. Then I'm going to copy this, paste it, and the second one we're going to set the object to the asteroid large. I've mentioned before that when we have two tests in order, it basically means that both conditions have to be met before the next action will be performed. So if there are no more small asteroids and no more large asteroids, let's drag in some blocks, and we are going to create our reset object. So main one, create instance. We're going to select our object reset, give it 320x and 224y, click OK. And since the default sprite of that reset object is the sprite game over, we need to set it to win because when we've cleared the room of asteroids, we have won. So let's change sprite, drag that underneath, and we'll have this apply to the object, object reset. We will give it the sprite, sprite win, leave everything else as is. And then one last thing, very important, we'll open our room main and add in our object scorekeeper. I'm going to leave in all of these asteroids because I want to destroy enough to make sure that the extra life system is working. So close this and test it. Okay, so I'll destroy asteroids. You can see I'm getting my points. And if I can clear enough of them, I can get my extra life. There it is. So now I'll clear the room as fast as I can. and victory. So when I press enter it should reset the room and it does. I've still got all of my score and my lives. We want that to happen because ideally we are going to make it so that each time we win we'll increase our level and so we want the score and lives to carry over. We only want the lives and score to reset if we actually lose the game but we're going to have to set that up first.